Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather. It's dead water in days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 20th of July. And we'll be able to send out beyond that with the Sergio Fest and ECM Ensembles. Maybe I'll try a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets into early August. I should get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first. Video say was our UK weather forecast at 6 a.m. So uh, check out that if you like to. Uh, like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And uh, thank you so much, everybody, for giving that for Gal Twelve. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, right, let's start our Central England temperature. The CT is ticking up now. Uh, reached our uh, low point. Now we're sitting at 14.0. That is 1.9 degrees, nearly 2 degrees below the 61 to 90 only average of visual to yesterday to the uh, 9th of July. These are the GFS of rare temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Looking at London today, the red line is the third year of air temperature average for London, starting off a little bit below average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. I'm going to say quite uh, cool over the uh, next few days. Into next week, hovering close to the long term average, and uh, that's a setup really as we go in towards the last week of July. No sign of any excessive heat, as we've been saying in the videos lately. There are some quite uh, warm and solid members up here between 10. And 15 degrees at 858 PA, but no one saw the members going up to like 20, 25 degrees um, in the upper atmosphere at the moment. So overall, it looks like this rather more, I would say, typical British summer really um, continues. Precipitation-wise, there's going to be some more wet weather coming up in a couple of days in the southeast corner. That's tomorrow. It's Friday, uh, drier over the weekend, and then early next week could bring some more wet weather in off the Atlantic. Oh, that may be a drying trend, though, through the final uh, week, 10 days or so of July. Although, of course, that's extended range and is therefore unreliable. Temperature anomaly from the 10th to 18th of July, just a little bit below average, not a particularly big deviation. Uh, precipitation anomalies from the 10th to 18th of July. Uh, northern, western and southern regions a bit drier, but central and eastern counties a little bit wetter than average. Latest wind from that from uh, EarthNorthSchool.net shows we've got an area of low pressure sitting in the North Sea off the east coast of Scotland today. And uh, we're bringing in the wind from a west or a northwesterly direction. More low pressure waiting in the wings in the Atlantic, by the way. Uh, right, OK. <coughs> So, so everyone, let's start going through the chart data. Then, Mr. Our latest UK, UK Met Euro run is looking for midnight on Saturday. A ridge out to the west of the UK and Ireland. Trough over the continent. Winds coming in from the north northeast. Could be a bit cool and showery at the weekend. Uh, so, are we under a ridge or a trough there? Probably, probably just about under uh, a trough. And then into that Sunday, into next week, um, you know, very slack gradients. Neither high pressure or low pressure. That looks like a bit of a cold, but we're under by the middle of next week. Probably still showers overall. This is how Icon uh, looks again. The low pressure cooled away to the east on Saturday. Uh, high pressure out of the Atlantic. Into the weekend, just keep very slack gradients. Probably a little bit cool and showering. And then as we go up to... Um, the middle of next week, we find we've got low pressure to the north of Scotland. Again, some sort of a flimsy ridge down to the southwest, but to uh, stay pretty uh, showery and probably a bit on the cool side there. Uh, the KMA, let's have a look at that one. Uh, so we've got some high pressure out to the uh, west of the country over the weekend into next week. But not with any conviction, uh, really. Now, we have got an extension from the Azores High, so as we're going towards second half of next week, the Azores High is trying to build in. However, we have also got this area of low pressure just to the south of ice, and I suspect that's going to flatten off it is. So, the attempt to build some higher pressure there comes to naught. And uh, we finish up. Just beyond day 10, still looking very unsettled, really, with low pressure sliding in. But GFS midnight run is all much of a muchness of a weekend, a little bit uh, on the showery side. Into next week, another area of low pressure comes in off the Atlantic. It's a bit different to uh, ICON and the UK Met in particular. 
probably came out as well. So it's a bit unsettled through next week, actually, with the GFS. Um, that's day 10, quite a significant low to Western Scotland. That's probably been wet and windy weather, certainly, to the north. The south could just about be hanging on some drier weather. But overall, these charts are still looking pretty disappointing, really, from a sustained, settled um, point of view. Overall, quite quite mixed conditions continuing there. GFS Midnight Roman, GFS 6Z by comparison. Again, we've got that wind in from the north northwest on Saturday. A little bit on the cool, showery side. Into next week, low pressure just meandering in off the Atlantic, keeping things pretty changeable, really. Um, into the second half of next week, we try to get the Azores high bridging up from the south, but low pressure. To the north of um, west continues to be in the ascendancy. Around and just beyond day 10, mist lows coming in off the Atlantic, bringing further rain and quite strong winds at times. That continues uh, beyond. We're a long way out now, 22nd of July, but still looking rather changeable there. Um, we end up with GFS 6Z. Again, high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north. Winds coming in from the Atlantic, still a little bit on the changeable side. If you're enjoying the video, please can you like, share, and subscribe. And show you one for dear Matt. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weathers. Get them to subscribe too. We thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. We need quite about 25 subscribers, I think, to get to 18.6k. So if you could give us a sub, it would be amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay, GM. Again, with high pressure out to the west of the northwest country on Saturday. Low pressure east winds coming in from a north northeasterly direction. Into uh, the early part of next week, low pressure just meandering around, really keeping things a little bit on the changeable side. Still rather cool with the temperature as well. Bit of a change with the gen mode for days 9 and 10 as this ridge builds in. Um, now, that's actually setting things down and warming things up a little bit by about days 9 and 10. But how soon as we take that, I don't know. There's not much support from the other model output for that. Maybe the ECM will support it. Let's have a look. So, uh, again, we find that... Um, for Saturday, again, we've got a ridge out to the west, swings in from the north east, could be a bit cool and showery. Early next week, this low comes meandering in, that could bring some wet weather, Monday for the Tuesday. Um, then we do start getting some higher pressure, though, so um, in about a week's time, week tomorrow, Thursday, the 18th of July, look at this, high pressure trying to build up from the south. Is that a break? Is that a change? Um, no, <laughs> actually, low pressure just comes in day 9 and 10 and pushes away that uh, weak ridge, returning us to generally unsettled conditions at days um, 9 and 10. A bit of a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. Further showers to come over the uh, next day or two. That carries on into the weekend. The beginning of next week bring more wet weather in across England and Wales as well. And then the rest of next week is showery in the north and west, driest in the south and in the east. That's the setup at day 10. Still some showers left in the north anyway. This should be option on the table within the east uh, on summer today for day 10. Gets us to the 20th of July. The United States Met Office, 51 out of 51 members of the East Coast Ensembles, all of them, with high pressure to the south and lower pressure to the north, looking a bit flat and westerly with that. In two weeks' time, this is the option that we've got. It gets us to the 25th of July. No pressure again to the northwest, high pressure to the southwest, and winds again remaining, remaining, I should say, from that westerly direction. So, north-south split, dry south, south most of the testing in the north, but all areas looking a little bit changeable there. And then CFS reach you finally, these are 500 millibar heights, and always breaking down into weak periods. The first week period takes from the 10th to 16th of July, but next week has low pressure to the west and southwest, bringing in, bringing in relatively unsettled conditions in the next week. Week 2 shows the north-south split, it's the 17th to 23rd of July, low pressure to the northwest, Scotland, high pressure to the south and winds coming in from a west sea direction week three <laughs> will be the 24th 30th of july high pressure to the south lower pressure is uh, up to the north still looking a little bit westerly then and then finally week four will be 31st of july to the 6th of august maybe a stronger influence from high pressure especially in the south the north could still be a little bit changeable Wind's still coming in from a westerly direction, but at least it's a bit drier, a little bit more settled 
down in the south. Overall, it's a mix and changeable outlook, though, certainly for the next week to 10 days. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you support Jim out. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gazways. Get them to subscribe to so much everyone for Jim out. Just tell us having on the channel tomorrow. Going to, have, going to have a UK weather forecast. I'll try and get the European outlook done. I'll go off to NGH with the foot and ankle again tomorrow. So <laughs> just depends. Um, no, it just depends whether I can get the European outlook done or not tomorrow. If I can't, then we'll do it the next week. And um, we're also going to, of course, have a 10 to 14 day um, tomorrow afternoon. You enjoy the rest of your Wednesday, though. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.